Hi everyone! Recently my uncle built chicken coop, but he has some problems with wild animals eating his chickens, so he asked me if I could make some kind of automatic doors that will open in the mornings and close in the evenings, so the chickens will be safe inside at night. And I said sure, I can do that. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is first important part. I bought this chip actuator from some Polish shop, so I don't know if you will be able to get the same one. But I'm pretty sure that actuators from, for example, Aliexpress will work as well. And this one is powered by 12 volts and it can extend up to 20 centimeters or 8 inch inches. And inside here there are limit switches that you can set as you want. And I have also 3D printed these mounts, which I can later easily screw to the chicken coop wall and door. And this actuator is controlled just like any DC motor, by changing polarization you can change the direction of extent and now I'm going to show you that. And we can also reverse. But we can't make automatic doors with just actuator. We need something more. So this thing right here is the control box. I printed it from PLA and I also messed up finish of the surface so it looks pretty bad. But overall the box does its job which is to keep all electronic components safe inside. And that red parts give you ability to modify this box for example by adding extra buttons. But I don't need them so I just won't use them. And also there are holes in this box for example to connect to Arduino and there are also holes here for wires, here are power wires and actuator wires. You can of course download models of all the 3D printed parts used in this video and I will also include Fusion 360 files so you can easily modify everything if you need to. And now let's look what inside. If we take this cover right here we can see that inside there, inside there are few components. Here is 5 amps, 12 volts power supply and it's connected to this small 5 volts back converter and also to relays. And this small back converter powers Arduino because Arduino runs on 5 volts. And also Arduino controls these relays. And also there is real-time clock module DS3231 which is connected to Arduino and thanks to that we can activate relays at specific time and now I'm going to show you all the connections. Okay, so this is circuit diagram and it's a total mess but you have to forgive me because I just downloaded this program like yesterday so I'm still learning how to use it correctly but I'm just going to quick show you uh, how to connect everything and this right here is a time module and what's important that you need to connect SCL pin to A5 pin on, on Arduino and SDA pin to A4 on Arduino. And uh, later you just connect it to 5 volts and, and that pin. And uh, you also need to connect realize signal pins to D4, D4 and D5 pins. And also what's important, this motor represents actuator and you need to connect it just like that. So if the one relay is active, it will move in one direction and if the other one is active, it will move in different direction. So that's how it works. There is this 5 volt back converter and this one represents this big 5 amps power supply. So this is 12 volts, this is 5 volts and that's how it looks. Okay, so this is Arduino sketch. At first you need to include this library and here you can define pins for relays and for a time module. And here you can set at what time relay should activate and uh, here to turn off. And here is the same for second relay. Here you have serial option and if you don't disable it, you can do something like that. You can see what time it is by your time module. And here you define the state of relay. For me it's high, but for you it might be low. And 
there is just if and else. Basically, it's a very simple program. Okay, so here we are. It's my uncle's chicken coop and he even has ducks and they are very nice. But what's important is this building because here we are going to install our system. And as you can see, there are doors that can be open and closed. And uh, we are going to install actuator here and here so it can open these doors and later close them and uh, here inside I'm, I'm going to place my control box probably somewhere here and it's going to be connected to actuator that is going to be on, on the other side okay so quick update don't print these motor mounts because they are just too weak the big one broke almost instantly and the small one also broke so instead I made them from metal here's the big one and I also have the small one so they will be just better okay so now everything is in place and I can show you that here we have these doors this one is screwed and only this one will open and here we have actuator the, with this custom metal mounts and uh, the wire from actuator goes in here here we have power cable and power plug and inside we have this control box and uh, yeah the wire here need to be loose because actuator moves while opening and closing these doors and uh, it will open at 7 a.m. and close at 9 p.m. And now it opens. I can show you how it looks like from inside. So yeah. It works pretty nice.